In this video, we are going to learn about debugging and tracing in ASP.NET. Before we proceed further, let us first try to understand the debug and the trace term. Debugging refers to a process in software development to find out bugs, errors in the program at the development stage. The last two word is very important. Debugging is a, a, a way to find out the bugs and errors in the program at the development stage. However, the tracing is a mechanism to monitor the execution of the application at development as well as in the live environment. So, uh, first let us try to understand that how to debug an ASP.NET application. Okay, To debug ASP.NET application, the easiest way to do uh, debugging in um, ASP.NET is to write the compilation tag and add the attribute debug is equal to true that will uh, basically enable the debugging uh, for the ASP.NET application. Let's try to understand it by uh, doing an example here. So first let me copy paste this tag into my web.config file. Here is my web.config file and I'm just copying and pasting my tag compilation tag in the web.config file and because here we have written compilation debug equal to true so for this application the debugging is enabled now. Let me change this code where b is equal to 0 and then we are writing the value of v is v here and then I am just writing v plus plus and then we can write here the value of v is v. Now when I will run this page you will notice that uh, all these things all the document all these uh, statements that I have written that will appear and in order to go to the debug uh, window we need to uh, click on debug and window and then output and here you will see that all my debug statement that we had written here the value of v is 0 and the value of v is 1 coming here so a uh, debug statement uh, can be used to also know uh, a value of a particular variable or, or the object uh, or, or the object position so that we can uh, modify the code as per our requirement so this is the use of uh, deb uh, debugging and in order to use the debugging what we can do is that we can simply write compilation debug equal to true in the web.config file. Now let me change this true to false and then when I will run this page you will notice that uh, and let me clear this out yes and then let me run this page and I will notice that <coughs> The, the the code that we have written into the debug statement is not appearing here you can see that so if you have already written some code in the uh, in the in your project related with the debug and if you will write a deb uh, sorry debug equal to false in the web.config file that code will be completely ignored as you can see here that because I have written debug is equal to false in my web.config file so debug statement uh, is not even being used to write to write the message but as soon as I will change it to true and then run the project then I will see that let me first clear all this data and now I am going to run this project and you will see that my debug statement will appear see that the value of v0 the value of v is 1 it is appearing okay so I hope it was clear the next how to is how to trace an ASP.NET application. As I said, the tracing is used in the live environment. For example, you you have already deployed a uh, ASP.NET application, and on the live environment, you are facing some issue, and you want to trace the issue so that you can fix that issue in, into into the into your development machine. Then, uh, in order to trace your application, that what's going on underneath you can use this tracing so uh, in order to trace what we need to do is that again we need to use uh, the, the trace class and that trace class basically exists into system dog diagnostic namespace again so let me use the trace class here 
So what I'm going to do is that in, instead of debugging, I'm simply writing trace. And because there is no right line methods, trace has a right method, so that's why I'm changing this right line to right. And now here you can see that when I will run this page and one more very important thing is that we will have to add into the page directive trace is equal to true and uh, there is no n there is no relation between the trace and the comp compilation debug equal to true so you can either make it true or false it's up to you and now let me uh, run this page so when I will run this page let me go ahead and uh, right click and then view in browser now when I'm running this page you will f you will see that my some data is appearing because of this code and then in the trace value you can see that the value of v is 0 the value of v is 0 and the value of v is 1 will come here and it is also telling me that how much time it, it, it took to come from the this statement to this statement and in, in which event this is uh, this particular code is executing so it is uh, executing into begin load and and between begin load and the end load so that's what is appearing so this tracing mechanism is basically used to trace uh, the application in the live environment because in the live environment you will not be able to debug the code isn't it so uh, and uh, that's why uh, the, the debug class will not work so in the live environment naturally you should have some mechanism uh, that will basically uh, run the application in the live as well as you will be able to uh, you should be able to test that so that's why this tracing is used now one very important point to note here is that when when you write a trace is equal to true for example here i had written trace is equal to true in the page directives this only enables tracing for this particular page of the application it does not enable tracing for all the pages of the application now you might have a question that how to enable tracing for all the pages of the application so that we are going to see into the next how to but before i move to the next how to let me tell you what what other informations you get when you enable trace for a particular page you get the complete event cycle that uh, that execute when a page is requested you get the session id you get the time of request and you get the uh, time is spent between the uh, between the different different events and the code that is running and then uh, you also get the complete uh, control uh, tree structure and uh, header header collections now the next how to is how to enable or disable tracing in all pages of the application as I said in the last uh, how to we saw that how to enable tracing for a single page but in this case we are going to learn that how to enable tracing for all the different pages of the application in, to enable or disable uh, tracing for all the pages what we need to do is that we need to add trace uh, tag into the web.config file and write trace enabled equal to true in case we want to enable the tracing and in, in case we want to disable the tracing then we need to write trace enabled e equal to false so let me show you that so I'm going to copy it here from here and paste into my web.config file okay and then what I'm going to do is that this is my first uh, page and I'm going to create another page here add a new and default to two. and I, I'm going to write some uh, code into the page load event of this page as well and then what we are doing is that we are going to write v multiply equal to 5 ok now this is into the default 2 and I am going to keep the link here ahref default go to default 2 page and default 2 yes and on default to page I'm going to write default and I will write de go to default page yes and now let me run this default page from here now let me first uh, remove the trace in 
trace uh, uh, attribute from the page directives and when I am running this page you will see that even if trace directive is not written here to true because we have written web.config file trace enabled equal to so true so by, uh, by default for all the pages of this application uh, uh, will be enabled for the tracing so you can see the tracing is enabled here when I will go to the page number 2 also you can see the tracing is enabled you can see here all the values are coming so in order to enable and disable the tracing for example if I want to disable the tracing then I will simply write trace enabled equal to false and it will basically disable the tracing of all the pages of this particular application so for application level uh, if you want to enable or disable the tracing then you can use the trace enabled uh, attribute and you can set its value as true or false 